Hey ladies, gents, guys and gals, welcome back to part number 20 here on uh, Oklahoma with me console, plant FS15. Field 13 harvest is still underway. We're not doing too bad, guys. It's really, really... Uh, ah, there. Well, that, that, that doesn't help. Oh, wrong one. Oops. Oh well, it worked. Yeah, so we're uh, getting quite a, getting along quite well here with this harvest. Things are going well. Um, had the fixed course by a few times. Maybe just I uh, don't know the grain carts doing that sort of thing, coming in too tight to the header. Yeah, well, it's easy done. Um, it's fixed. Oh well. So today though. Um, I'm going to leave this to it, and I want to bounce back because um, I'm going to get these this rice sold. We're on a oh great demand. There's 13 hours of it left, but might as well sell now. So rye, and we're going to the farmers co-op. I only have the two wagons down here though, guys, um, because I am using one up on field 13 just to help out, keep things moving. So let's get the sell to the. F oh, was a farmer's co-op on that? Yeah. What was the deed? Yeah, happy days. Uh, and we're going to sell rye. Uh, past it. Uh, farmer's co-op. Uh, past it again. And we're selling rye. Also gonna get the harvest started possibly on field one today. It is more um more canola, but hey. Um, we're gonna have a shed load of canola to sell here. Uh, three thousand three hundred and ninety four. I have been paying back our loan guys uh, in increments. So now we've only got uh seven hundred ten thousand left to pay. Um I have a feeling I'm gonna get that paid off with this uh, this run of stuff here. So uh, let's go ahead, bounce up the speed, get down to the harvester here on field one. More canola. Oh, it's not. What's this? Uh, oh, it's wheat. Happy days. Something different. Let's get it unfolded. I do have a course for field one in here. Field one harvester. Okay, okay. Oh, I need to start it, don't I? And of course, we have a headland set up on this field, so let me just get into the field and get ready to go. Yeah, wait, there we go. Uh, not much. Should we pick up straw? Um, I'm gonna say no for the moment. We've got over a million liters of straw there. We're not really going through it just as much at the minute, but we will need to start building up if we do want to start building on our cows. Peter built some traffic. Why? Oh, you're just in the queue. Um. Oh, right, uh... Yeah, this happens quite a lot at the end of the age of a field. Uh, just the harvester trying to find its line with course play. It does fix itself eventually. Um, but in all honesty though, with the other combines coming behind it and the bit of the overlap that there is, it doesn't seem to leave too much behind. I think what we'll do, guys, is um, I'm going to bounce around to, uh, you see, not, not you, so three, that's four, three, 
here. Um, and I think we'll use this boy just to uh, do a quick empty course off the field. Might as well just dump into this for the time being. I'm not going to save this course because obviously we're using um, green carts. But all the green carts are going to be in use here in a moment. So we don't really have the money to get another one. $3,342 or pounds or whatever we want to put it playing in. Um, yeah, we're not really buying anything soon. So let's um, get in the field and get this course recorded. <coughs> Something we've been saying, playing with. Um, with course play, if you're doing this sort of course, you need to be able to see all four corners of the field. Otherwise it's going to try driving across stuff. Not that it really matters too much on this map because that fence does not have a collision. But yeah, it does matter uh, in other maps. Um, and just keep the habit up. That is the same for 19 as well guys. Yeah, we can just drive straight to it here. Let's go across the trigger a bit slower. Just a habit I have. Um, I don't know if it's necessary, but yeah. I'm going to take it back to field one. Oh, we need to get that empty in as well, that other bunker. I have to get that more started at some stage as well. We've been doing that for the last couple of episodes. I don't want to skip ahead to the next day, guys, because well, obviously a harvest is on the harvest is on the go. And back to field one. Uh, and sort of finish it. We're going to see all four corners as well. I'm only putting one card on this, it doesn't really matter if they're close or not. So, stop that. Not going to save it guys, it's just going to be temporary. This is going to be this this mode here, which is the combine and offload. Drive the course nearest waypoint. And you should be looking for that combine about now. Yeah, there you go. You're all lovely. Let's go ahead, get the other combine started. Uh... This is going to take a bit longer because this is uh, field 4, this is a big field. I was going to bring the sick. Tell you what, no, I'm going to wait in this field, guys, because I'm going to bring the other combine down here. I'm going to put two combines on this field, it's, it's quite big. Where is our. There you are. Well, while that's happening. We do have field 3 to replant. So let's go ahead and jump in our articulated John Deere, which is here. And what are we going to plant? We're not planting canola. Uh, sorghum, sunflowers, beans. Yeah, let's plant some beans. Start the engine. Let's go ahead and get some seed in this. I think to replant uh, 13, I'm going to need to get uh, maybe a couple of DB90s or something. Or a couple more air carts. I have a few of them going on it. I suppose we should give these a bath at some stage. Are getting rather dirty. But hey, money's rocketing in. Three hundred and forty grand. Okay. Is that the pop trailer I'm taking all, Jake? Or is that both trailers? Um. 
No, the second trailer's just there just now, right? There's more roses in there, actually. Uh, right, I'm not, I'm not tripping a bit. Let me use that great demand while we have it. Let's get you unfolded. Get it lined up. Okay, I think I'll just put course play onto this as well. It does a better job than me planting. So, that. Uh, hold on, we're on the right. Yeah, seeding fertilization. Course play, this is field 3. With. Yeah, okay, we are starting at the northwest. We're heading south. Don't need a headland. There we go. I believe I have a feed three refill. Just in the safe side and drive. One thing I do miss about course play here compared to 19. I can't really remember too much about course play in 17 actually. Is I can't tell it the real you know if you go into the settings of course play in 19 in the the additional settings, you can tell it to raise the implement late and lower it early and stuff. You can't do that with this one. Uh, class action is slipping. Why? See, there you go. Bit of a fence. Wire fences don't have collision. Uh, this one does. I just need to start this on the field. You'll go ahead with that. Axiom is in traffic. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, that's a, that's gonna be a problem. So, I'm gonna bounce the speed up on this slightly. To eight. We we'll jump out of this. We we'll jump into this one. Hopefully, playing with the speed a wee bit. I can get them to stop bunching up like that. Um, that's what we were talking about last night uh, with, yeah, with North and Jeffrey. Um, hoping that we can get that sort of sorted out. Look, I think, guys, if I hadn't stopped the harvest, went to bed, get up this morning, um, everything would have been grand because the, the carts go and do an automatic em emptying and stuff. So the combines, whenever you restart them, have a chance to, to bunch up that wee bit more. If I had left this go, we've been on. Uh, what are you doing? Um, roughly started this harvest here. Uh, about two thirty in game time, so there's been about four hours so far. Let me just go ahead and make sure that our other axioms are all. Oh, here it's four. Just want to make sure that these are all. Um, yeah, you see, whenever you restart them, it uh, changes the uh, turning circle back to zero. So I've just been hitting turn, hitting that, turning that up, and that seems to help stop this process of the circle of death. Oh, there's a Zerion not in the uh, 
Not on the list. Oh, that's interesting. Did you? It is, look, there you go. Yeah, we didn't have that one on the list there. That's my bad. Let's just make sure that you are. Yep, your turn circle's turned up. Excellent. Peter built farm silo is empty. Drive now. Let's go ahead and get some of this loan head back. So, what have we got? 400,000 will pay. Head up to. I believe it's 100,000 in the bank. That way we're paying this loan off ready too. There we go. And there's still uh, that and another load to sell which is on the way up there so we'll get a majority of that paid off today. I should really start thinking about doing some sort of headland up here with the, uh, the planters with these uh, driving out of here. Right, okay, so this is what I mean guys, it's turning and it's coming in too quickly, but all I have to do is that. And it fixes it. For some reason. I don't know why. But I mean, if we look at that, go ahead and look at field 17 here. Uh, this way. They're not field 17, field 13, you can see we have made big cut into this field guys a big big cut look and that is why we've got uh so much in canola yeah <laughs> maybe over two billion canola so oh we're gonna go we're gonna head over two million canola by the time i finish this See, this is the this is the part I think is brilliant. That's going to say it's in traffic. I'm going to sit here and panic because it nearly reverses into it, but then it just takes off. So this one empties completely out. That one's filling, so this one will scoot further on ahead. So bunching, if, if that type of bunching up is not bad. Where are you going? Oh, you're selling rye. Why are you going so slow? Why are you going so slow? Oh, because whenever we first recorded this, we were behind traffic, weren't we? Yeah. So, yeah, when traffic was still on when we first recorded this, this is why it's going slow. Oh, well. Um. Yeah, okay. One thing I was thinking about doing, guys, is I have a manure storage mod in here. Back up the five horses. Excellent. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sneezy sneeze. Two weeks off self isolation. Happy days. Um. Yeah, I have got a like a, a storage where I can just scoop the manure out of this, put it into this, and I can put course play on to sell the manure if I really wanted to. Or we could let it build up and use it in fields. You're on amber. Why are you on amber? Uh, oh, because that's full. Okay. we really got this ramped up, guys, that we're at the point where if we put more cows into here, it's not going to make a difference. Uh, well, it is going to make a difference, obviously, in milk and stuff, but we've got enough feed stored up here to uh, to feed them, no problem. Um, I'm having a bit of an issue, though, with... Uh, if I can jump into one of these... If anybody has played this map, or anybody can remember playing this map, okay, please, please do tell me, where does the straw go for the pigs? I've looked around, I've even put up the uh, thing here, uh, where we see all the tip collisions and, and whatnot, and I cannot, as obviously for manure, I cannot find out where the straw goes for the pigs. The same with the uh, beef cows. 
I can't find out where we get um, the, beef, the beef cows get their uh, earth fruits and grains. It just it it passes me. I know that's for water, and I know that's for feeding, but you know I just can't find the straw. And chickens, I don't know if I really want to do the fat and chickens, because uh, they need fed. But again, I'm having trouble finding out where to put stuff in here. Should we continue with the fat and piggin fat and piggins? Fat and chickens? Um I know I'm a bit of advanced uh, I'm roughly a bit of a week ahead with the recordings guys because I don't want to be uh I've got a few extra shifts and stuff coming up at work and I don't want to be leaving days without recording, so I'm about roughly a bit of a week ahead. Um But I will not do anything. Oh we've got we've got eggs. Yeah, there you go. Oh no one. I will not do anything with the um, fat and chickens or the pigs. Should we just knock them on the head, or should we continue with uh, continue doing them? Up to you guys. Let me know. Um, one way or another, actually, I don't really mind because I don't think I've ever played well played with that sort of dynamic before within the game. So that's all news to me. Oh, there's Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. Jeffrey always has to appear in the episode. Um, I'm not really bothered. I, I, I do want to do them, but I mean, there's no point going half-hearted into it. Oh, we've got some wool. Happy days. Um, if we don't need to. Um, so let me know if you want me to continue doing them or not. I'll, I'll leave that up to you. Sheep. Um. I think we'll plan. We'll, we'll, you know, once we get the money in there, we'll, we'll, we'll stick some more sheep in. Uh, I see. Uh, three hundred eighty-three. So we'll, put, we'll make, leave us eighty, eighty grand, and we'll pay back. So we've got eighty grand in there. That means that our. Um, oh, we'll leave it down to fifty even. Okay. So seventy five grand of a loan left outstanding. Um it does leave us to the point guys where uh you know, we really need to expand on the planters and stuff there for um this field because doing it with the DB A D B ninety or that single air seeder is gonna take that forever and a day. So we are gonna need to either get a couple more air seeders or I was thinking maybe if we can get the money up together, we need about 1.2 million for two DB 120s. Once we get a good price for the canola and sell it off, um, I mean, there's canola is 2,407. Um, we're gonna be quids in. Wow, oh, there isn't really much that field left, is there? That's brilliant. That's went a lot better than I was expecting, guys. I was expecting this to be more trouble. Um, but it hasn't really been. I think the only thing I would need, I would think up here is... I would need maybe another green card on the go to stop the combine sitting empty in. Like that. Maybe a green card per combine or something. Um, might be an idea. Or maybe, yeah, I would like to try this with more combines, because I mean... So far, we've been just over four hours at this field. It would be nice to uh, try and get it more. Help. One complaint I do have about 15, and this has happened quite a lot. Um, if we look at the combine, they're 12 meter headers. Well, meant to be 12 meter headers. But they're working over 12 meters. And course play has them over 12 meters. And there's other things as well in there, you know, the spreaders say that they're like, a th you know, 12 meters and they'll be 18 or something like that there. Um, it'd be really nice if the mods actually had the proper working widths on them. Um, I mean, nobody's really making mods for 15 anymore, so it's an empty complaint now, you know. I, you know, just have to deal with it. But it would have been nice for that to happen. Yeah, we are all... You are the last combine that was set off. You've been empty. Can't really turn you up much more. 
Where's the next combine to you, though? Wow, that's miles ahead. Don't really want to turn the speed up too much more on that. Get you going shortly. I think once these fields are finished, guys, I'll just... Um, especially 13 there, I'll skip it to the next day. But as I say, I'll not be skipping to the next day until 13 is finished. Uh, let's take the speed up. Let's run over to the beef. Oh, you're off the field, so you're not going to be recognizing him. Okay, Peterbilt, farm silo's empty. Let's just get used to moved. Because there's nothing there for you to do. And we don't want to be blocking the drop-off point. What I would like to do as well, guys, before I sell the canola, is get a few more of these setups. Um, because... Yeah, you know, as I was said before, I will say it again, you know. 15, you only have the space of an hour to have the same price um, on your sell points. Once that hour passes, the prices can and do drop quite dramatically. So you sell as much as you can within an hour. Um, and I think we'll need more, more selling rings if we're going to be doing that. Oh, good doggies. Stop you. So beef-wise, guys, uh, beef cows are over here. We're saying about the beef. Um, obviously, I know that's slurry and that's manure. Is that the water? So the only feeding trough I can see is here. Um, this is obviously where the water goes, but looking around, there's nowhere for grains or earth fruits here. And if we go to the beef cows, oh, with 19 ready to go, excellent. Um, get we, well, we need to buy the trailer for that yet. What well, what price are those beef though? Uh, there we are, beef. Two thousand seven hundred and twenty a piece, or for a ton. Yeah, well, we'll we'll need to start getting those sold. We'll need to get a different animal trailer for it, but um, yeah. Or our beef over here. We've got quite a few beef in stock there. Parna, there's only one there. Okay, that's not working because the beef does say that I have sixteen. Didn't it? Oh, 19 ready to go. There we go. See, green and earth fruits are down there. It's, I don't know where to put them, guys. Um, chickens and cows are overlap. That that's annoying, but hey. Shape 35. And with nearly a full wool pallet, I think we'll need to up the up the numbers in the sheep because sheep wool is, if I remember right, is is pretty good money. For 15. Uh. Silage, no. Okay, so it's not telling me the price for wool. Or am I scrolling past it? No, it's not telling the price for wool. And I don't think that <laughs> that's storage prices, but wool 121? I don't, I don't know if that's. Meh. I don't know, guys. Uh, but you must be able to sell wool on the map because obviously we, uh, we have wool to sell. Actually, 950 is in traffic. Let's have a look at you. Oh, good. So there we go, guys. That's uh, that's about it, really. Um, there's not really much more to do on this episode. Um, again, it's just harvest, harvest, harvest. But as I say, we are making some tremendous strides on this field. Uh, other way, you can see, guys, we're yeah. This isn't yeah. Maybe about another hour on this field, and that's it done. 
Um, field five. Oh, field five needs replanted. All right, cool. Um, also, as well, guys, we're gonna have to maybe look at. Uh, now we're releasing field eight and we're releasing field four at the minute. Um, loads of times left, but we maybe have to look at ban those. What's on field eight actually? Field eight is oats, oats, and it's ready to harvest, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We'll need to take a couple of uh, combines to that as well then, um, just to get that done. But I mean, field eight's right, right behind us here, so we can use some of these combines on it. Uh, only thing is with these fields, if I can bounce back. Uh, where am I going? Farm is over here. We're gonna have to have different recordings. I think I mentioned this in the last episode, by the way, this is set up over here. Uh, everything just goes and goes straight into the green drop-off point. Here. Oh, look, there's one coming in. Um, there's other drop-off points where you drop, have to drop them off here at the edge of the tower. Uh, oats being over here. Sunflowers, beans. Oh, oats are being here. There's the symbol there, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll have to have separate recordings for those three things, and separate recordings for those two things, and then the, the in-game drop off. In-game original in-game crops are dropped off here. So yeah. But uh, questions, comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll catch us all in part 21 then. Um, for me, for now, bye bye.